Well, there are a number of different ways one can go about it, a number of different ways I go about it. One needs a system where one can eliminate large swaths of companies where each company doesn't take more than a few seconds or maybe a minute. So when I, when I look at a business, uh, the first question that's going through my head is, is it within my circle of competence? And a lot of companies uh, would disappear based on that question. There are also entire industries I don't have much interest in. So U.S. healthcare is very corrupt and does not operate with market forces. And so pretty much anything in U.S. healthcare, I either consider outside my circle of competence or no interest. So if there's a biotech company, if there's a hospital, if there's a pharma company, uh, if there's some, you know, uh, you know, CVS, Walgreens, that sort of thing. I'm, I'm basically, generally speaking, not interested in, in those kinds of businesses. So it's a very quick uh, pass. Similarly for defense contractors, I'm a little skeptical about the uh, kind of the long-term nuances and whether things are as clean as they should be and so on. So uh, not of much interest. And also, uh, you know, a lot of tech names uh, tend to be high flyers and uh, they tend to lose me on, on valuation and such. So even there, uh, we're done pretty, pretty quickly. I mean, if I look at Snowflake, it would take me like about 15 seconds uh, to move on. And so, so a lot of things get eliminated relatively quickly. There has to be some, uh, something that's drawing me in. So one of the things I do is I, I look at Value Investors Club and they have uh, you know, thousands of uh, companies posted on, on the club and people are continuously adding ideas. Generally, that is a somewhat filtered list because there's a lot of restrictions on who can post ideas and the rules there are. So it's a good place to go uh, hunting. It's also a very good place to learn because uh, many of the write-ups and then the comments are very insightful. So Value Investors Club is one possible source. Uh, Value Line is another source. Uh, I have a subscription to Sum Zero, which is another source. And then uh, I typically get several investment ideas emailed to me uh, pretty much every day by uh, folks across the world. And uh, I look at those as well. And again, you know, uh, many of those may not fit for a variety of reasons. But when you go through all of this, some, some ideas and some companies stick out. And, uh, and then, then, you know, I'll spend more time on them. The objective when I'm looking at a business is to as quickly as possible, say no and move on. So if I can say no in 15 seconds, that's great. In some cases, it might take a minute. In some cases, it might go to 15 minutes. And then I might say no. In some cases, it might go to a few days. But uh, the idea is that uh, to be really good at saying no. So the business should be able to convince a very deep skeptic that it deserves deserves more time and a spot in the portfolio. So that's generally how I go about it. Thank you.